So guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek Deff. Glad you're here. And today I kind of want to talk a little bit about everything that's going to be all white. Probably wondering what I'm talking about. There's this new docu-series on Showtime called Everything's Gonna Be All White. And it's basically a big racist piece of shit. Like big time. Like so bad. So bad. Now, I'm not going to watch this show. I'm not going to support it. I don't think you should support it. I'm pretty sure racism, by definition, is being judgmental towards skin color, race, religion, sexual orientation. The list goes on and on. But mainly when you think racism, you think skin color. And that's usually where it stems from. But they released a trailer about a couple weeks ago for the show. And one of the first things it said is, you know, ladies like, um, I, I, I hate when white people are fake victims, but then they kill us. That's, uh, that's annoying too. I'm like, well, that's really straight to the fucking punch. Big time. The way they painted this is that people, like people of color, is just getting killed like every single day for no reason, just because they're the, the color of their skin, which that rarely happens. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it rarely happens. Um, you know, whenever you see crime being committed, you know, you see different statistics for different races. And I hate to be the one to point it out, but the black community also has problems. Here's the thing. The black community has some problems. The white community has some problems. The Latino community has some problems. And everybody who is fighting for their rights has problems. And statistically, things are different for each group. But the way social media treats you is that one race, just one race, causes all the problems in the world. One race. Now, you don't... Nobody talks about things like the Holocaust. They forget that. They don't want to tell you about that. You know, a bunch of white people and uh, Jewish descent getting killed. Millions, millions is getting killed for no reason. Nobody wants to talk about that. But when it comes to POCs, then you're a fuck, dude. You're, you're a fuck, like, in the ass. Can't do that. Can't do that. But you can make fun of Jews getting killed. That, that's fine. You You can say that what happened on 9-11 was our fault, which, go ahead, you can do that. That's your opinion. I don't give a fuck what you think, honestly. And it's just like, you know, they're painting one race, which is racist. It is racist. Skin color is racist. You're racist against white people. But they're painting it, like I said, as all the problems in the world belong to white people and you should feel guilty for the things that happened in, in your long historic past. I had nothing to do with the past. Do I think the things that happened in the past sucks? Fuck yeah, I do. It's not right. Slavery was stupid. That was a dumb thing. Same thing goes for, you know, the, uh, LGBTQ community. It has so much backlash. People don't want them to get married. I don't see a problem with that. But for some odd reason, if you're white, you're the problem. I don't see somebody that has a different skin color than me any different than I see myself. I think of you as a human being. I consider you a brother, a sister, Whatever, we're here on this world together, small, tiny, little rock with thousands and thousands and millions and billions of galaxies and planets, and we're, we're on this rock together. But we continue to throw each other off the cliff, cut each other off. Try your best to, you know, just make things worse. And I know I'm not good at getting my words out. You guys know this. I'm actually pretty nervous talking about it anyways. Because it's just kind of weird. It, it really breaks my heart, honestly. Like, 
I like I I know people of color but doesn't have this you know kind of mentality. I I don't see it. The only places you really see this is on social media, especially things like some of the websites like Kotaku, Docker, uh, MSNBC, uh, Twitter, like all these left leaning um, companies. That's where you see it. That's where it gets highlighted the most. That's that's the crazy thing. And, and, you know, you see a lot of people of color dying. There's a lot of people dying. Not just people of color. And we can, I said, we can go down a list and say, who's getting killed? We're all getting killed. We're all getting fucked, basically. And the government and these social media companies, these big corporations, news outlets are trying to produce... Well, make us fear things. You fear me because I'm white. I fear you because you're black. That's what they want. They want this divide. They don't want people to come together and agree on things. That's why you see this trailer in its first episode. If you bring back the Google Chrome extension that allows you to see the dislikes, it's getting ratioed the fuck, like, big time. Big time. And it's fucking crazy. Like, who would do that? Who would put that out there? And like I said, if we reversed the title and made it seem like white people are the heroes and everybody else is the problem, that show would not have aired ever. Fucking ever. Shit, we're going after Joe Rogan for saying some word 14 years ago. I think it was for this. Probably after that. I don't know. It's been a while. You know, we get we kind of see people saying these words. And they don't talk about the context that the word was used. Am I saying using the N words okay? No. Have I ever used the N word? I probably have. I probably have. Have I used the N word in hate? No. Fuck no. I know what that word means. I don't say it. But I know when I was young, I probably did. I live in Southern Ohio, Southern Ohio. If we don't have a very big black community, a lot of people in this area, you know, they don't have much uh, experience with people of color. We don't. And it's sad because, you know, let's go ahead and say this. My father, my actual father, is the most racist person I have ever met in my entire life still today is one of the most racist people I've ever met in my entire life. And you're probably think, Oh, he's just great. Ra- he's just pretend racist. No, he's fucking full blown racist. Like, and I know a lot of people like that. You know, whenever I was in high school, you know, we'd have a black kid come into school. They didn't last very long. They just leave get picked on, humiliated. Yeah, I remember we had our first openly gay uh, guy come into school. And the teacher got in front of this kid in class and said, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. How fucking disrespectful. But it's all white people's fault. You know, in some cases, it is white people's fault. But in some cases, it's not. It's not all white people. You saying it's all white people is overgeneralization. That's why you say, oh, that black guy, he's a thug. Doesn't mean that every single black person on the planet is a thug. It's not how it goes. How I see it, skin color doesn't matter. Your race doesn't matter. Your religion, your sexual orientation, who you voted for, and who, what toilet paper you picked the shit on. I don't care. I don't. I just want people to get along. Stop being fucking idiots. We listen to these blue checkmark influencers, like everything they say is gold. We have these super liberal professors in colleges. 
We have a channel that we talked about just the other day saying all Republicans should die. They eat piss. All this shit. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I used to be full-blown Democrat. Did I vote for Trump? Yes, twice. I voted for Donald Trump twice. I did. I did. Am I ashamed of doing that? No. Fuck no, I'm not. Am I racist because I did that? No. Fuck no, I want. I originally, in 2016, I was ready to vote for Bernie Sanders. Then Hillary Clinton somehow became the candidate. I wasn't voting for Hillary Clinton, obviously. So I voted for who I thought was the less of two evils, and it happened to be Donald Trump. No, I don't completely agree with everything Donald Trump says. Do I think he was a decent president? Yeah, actually I do. If you take a look, you know, just a couple of years ago and compare it today, like inflation's up, racism's up, all this shit's up. Shit didn't really get that bad. I mean, you did have these massive riots. I mean, um, love, peace um, gatherings. P yeah, love and peace gatherings where they burn down buildings and car lots and attack people and wish people to die, throwing stuff at people, um, doxing people, humiliating people, ruining people's livelihoods. That it. But January the 6th, that was the worst. That was the worst. Here I am going off a tangent again. It's really depressing, honestly. It really is. You know, I've I've got friends that may see this video and disagree with what I'm saying or making fun of me because I can't get it out. Because I can never get it out. I'm just always like just so nervous. So nervous. You you would figure after all the years I've been doing this. It would get better, but obviously I, it's not. It's not. I'm just really annoyed right now that a show like that exists. Should it be? Should it been able to exist? Yes, it's freedom of speech. But like I said, if the roles reversed, everybody would be attacking it, wanting it censored and thrown away. It's how it is. Rules for thee, not for me. It's it's fucking stupid, on, honestly. You get all these people whining every day. You know, something happens. Like, J.R.R. Tolkien is now a racist. If you don't like the Lord of the Rings trailer, you're racist. Big time. Uh, Yellow Flash. I've been watching a lot of Yellow Flash lately. And you're probably wondering, you just listen to a bunch of conservative stuff. Kind of. I I got tired of the liberal stuff. You know, the older you get, the more things open up. The more experiences you have, things start to make more sense. Now, am I saying conservatism is great? No. Am I saying the Democrats are great? No, fuck that. None of them are great. If it was up to me, I would say, hey, just... Follow some fucking rules and stop taxing the shit out of us. Stop race baiting us. Stop throwing us into prison for smoking pot. Let people get married. Do you want to do your street drugs? Do your street drugs. If you if you want to kill yourself doing street drug drugs, go ahead do that. That's your that's your prerogative. It's really dumb. It's and it's usually, it's usually the ones that has the small ones that has the biggest. My, I'm pretty sure I butchered that. You get a lot of people crying. Of you know these influencers that things are all bad in America. I hate to tell you, it's worse in almost every other place. Say you want communism. Have you, you checked out communism works? Have you? Not very many successful people, well, successful communist nations. 
I mean, yeah, you got, is it China and Russia? Usually they fall apart. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not good with my history. I don't even, I'm not even good at talking. Communism doesn't work. Let's see, uh, socialism. Is it communism or social? I've got everything tight. Socialism doesn't work. And communism doesn't work. Communism's bad. I mean, in Russia, you cannot be gay. It's illegal to be gay. Middle East countries, if you're gay, you get thrown off a roof with tires around you, caught on fire, you get your head taken off. If you're a woman, you get beat or killed for taking off your mask or speaking up and taking up for yourself. You, you're considered as property. And we're saying the United States is the worst country in the world. It's not. It's, it's literally not. It's the media that's making these things worse than what they are. They're wanting to divide us, basically just to get more clicks. Something they can actually talk about on new, the news stations, and the radio, social media. It's a popularity contest, basically. That makes sense. You know, people can say what they want about what, like, Fox News. Do I watch Fox News? Rarely. I, I watch uh, Tucker Carlson sometimes. Maybe the five sometimes. I don't watch CNN, obviously. Bunch of fucking baby fuckers there. Bunch of sexual harassment dildos. But people still trust CNN. Fuck you. Man, I'm going on too long. I, I, I've jumped from, <laughs> from one thing to the other. I get on these tangents. God damn. Fuck me. So bad. I guess, I guess the summary. Stop being fucking racist. Showtime. Amazon. Facebook. Twitter. Everything. Quit being racist. White people are not the only ones that can be racist. That's why people hate this. They hate us because it's racist. I am a fucking poet. I'm going to be a rapper. Watch out, Kanye. I'm coming for you, bro. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, sorry this is long-winded and probably incoherent. But I just kind of wanted to talk about it. Thank you guys, and I'll see you soon.